In today's video, can we continue our push against the history in the north of our empire without angering the Liberni too much? Whilst also continuing our march into Dardania to secure our borders once and for all. Well, you're going to have to stay tuned to find out, guys. And if you do enjoy this series, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. And today we are back with a pretty fun episode, I hope. I hope. We are going to be marching into Dardania and also the history up here. After that, we are going to betray our glorious Liberni allies and attack them as well. Now, I have worked out we are on 49 regions currently, nearly the big 5-0 that we are on, which is pretty darn good, I've got to say. A very nice empire. And very soon, once we've taken out Dardania, the history, and the Liberni, we will have fully, fully unified the Illyrian people, minus a few lands down in the south, which, like I say... Not really a huge concern for us going forward unless we can get our military infrastructure sorted, which is uh, going to be a challenge. That is by far the most limiting factor at the moment for us, which is why we have taken this very nice land up here in the north in Ateste, Patavium and Altinum up here. This is very nicely growing, as you can see. All of these areas on low taxes. And this is without hardly any infrastructure to make it grow, remember, guys? This is just base farming level. Like, if we have a look here, you can see base farming level, 7%. That means this area has 14 fertility. Patavium has 11 fertility. So it is pretty insane. Uh, sorry, no, that was Patavium. Altinum is 11. And a test day up here has 10 farming level fertility level which is absolutely insane that's going to make us a lot of money and also allow us to actually recruit some decent units up here which is going to be fantastic in the meantime we're going to be retraining this army that is spread out across the lands while agron continues his march into dardania now i am considering auto resolving this but how long do you have left? Five turns. I think we don't need to auto-resolve. I think that's too many men to do so. Like I say, we're not going to be taking the tiny siege battles. But I think this is big enough that it warrants an assault. Because otherwise, we're going to lose like 300, 400 men potentially in the auto-resolve there. And that is not worth it when we can continue our march north. As you can see, all of these troops are AOR. So we can actually retrain them pretty much mostly in the same place obviously we're gonna have to send the greeks up to isaiah but apart from that let's get into the battle guys and look this is a fine day for battle yes agron it is it's a fine day for battle when your heart is brave yes glorious speech my friend glorious weirdly enough this is one of the few times i've ever seen us be plonked outside of somewhere not actually at the gate. So, um, yeah, a little bit weird, but uh, it's fine. Um, we will <laughs> we'll move around here to, uh, to knock down the walls over here instead. <laughs> well, here we go then, guys. Straight into the settlement we are going. We're going to try and bring these guys in here to fight the Southern Illyrian Spearmen. These guys are going to fire at the Northern Illyrian Levy. And we're going to get the Axemen in too. I'm thinking maybe bringing... The, uh, the Greek Spearmen in as well. The Hoplite and the Thurio Foroi ready to go. We'll bring this Thurio Foroi in too. You don't need to bring the Ram, my friends. Come without the Ram. That's probably a good idea. There we go. Fighting the Northern Illyrian Levy now. Very nice indeed. Let's see if we can get a few Javi shots off before we get engaged to the enemy. Are you guys going to drop that Ram, please? That would be better. Thank you. You guys get here then. Here we go. Should be in a good position to fire into the enemy now. These guys should be destroying them very easily. Do also want to bring these guys in to try and bait a few of the boys down. 
Uh, do we want to bring Agron into the fight as well? I think so. I think we don't really need you guys. Maybe. We'll bring you in anyway. But there we go. Are you able to fire at the enemy? If not, we will just surround the enemy here. No problem with that at all. In fact, you three, if you get over that way, in fact, that should be quite good. We will protect the uh, the the uh, slingers. I, I couldn't remember what they were called then. Now, Axemen, just charge in. You should be doing a good job against the Southern Illyrians here because we will fully surround them. Okay, there we go. Instantly broken. And we're going to waver them quite badly too. There we go. Very nice indeed, my friends. Very nice indeed. In fact, I would prefer if we had a proper line of spearmen at the front. These guys, surely you can fire. Why can you not fire? Surely you can fire. Fire at the general, my friends. I'm going to put you on guard mode. God, these guys are struggling against such a rubbish unit, but... It's fine. It's fine. Just enjoy yourselves, guys. <laughs> Come on. Get in place, my friends. Get in place. Yeah, they're, they're fighting to the death. That's not a problem. Come on. Fire away, my friends. Fire away. There we go. Perfect. Right. Here comes the general. And he's running straight towards javelins. That is awesome. What do we have on the town square? The noble spearmen. So they are going to be a bit of an issue. We have pretty much killed half their army and only lost 3% of our own so far. That's pretty good. I wonder if you guys just charge them. That would be a good idea. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring the Axemen around this way. Going to bring these guys. They can fire at the Slave Slingers if they want. You guys can come that way. General Agron. We'll bring Agron in just for the fun. Uh, and you guys... Let's get after the Slave Slingers. That should not be an issue at all. Uh, Thurio, Foroy. Okay, you guys you guys have broken them now. Good. You three can come around this way. And then we're going to have javelins from all sides. Uh, which should be perfect for us going forward. Let's bring our guys up that way. As you can see, they do still have some Axemen and Noble Spearmen. So, as usual, we're going to have to try and get them off the town square. Going to get you guys there. Our slingers going to have to go there. And hopefully most of you will be able to fire. That's going to be the difficult thing. Firing over the heads of our men. Not the best position there in the world. But not awful nonetheless. And we're going to bring you guys around here too. And hopefully we'll be in position soon. Well here we go guys. The final attack has begun. I've got to say these slingers are actually so very good. <laughs> like, I'm so glad we've got access to them. They have been fantastic for us so far. We've got javelins flying into the noble spearmen. Now, what I want to do is also get javelins flying into the axemen here. As you can see, the noble spearmen are running away. Not ideal for them. You guys get forward too. Hopefully able to fire at the axemen. Are these guys actually hitting anything over here? Okay, yeah, no, they are. Plenty of uh, plenty of them are firing. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. And there goes the general. I don't even know where he was in the end. I think it was in this stereo four, right? But there we go. They're broken. Can we break these spearmen too? That would be excellent. Doesn't look like it, potentially. But these guys are going to die pretty damn hard anyway. So bring you guys in as well to fire your javies. And there we go. Should be... Oh, my God. Look at these guys just fall. <laughs> Poor guys. Poor guys. We've got the noble spearmen who are actually in the fight there. And uh, let's see. Can we get these guys to fire? There we go. Glorious victory. We only lost 77 men. Killed four, 476. And once again, look at the epic bar size. Just solid numbers. 58, 56, 31, 55. It's not amazing... But that adds up to nearly 200 men just from those four units. What an amazing slinger unit, especially against the Illyrians. Glorious. Well, I didn't check to see if Dornion is a uh, city or a town. But I think we're going to enslave anyway because that might give a bonus to rise on. Let's have a look. No, there is no slavery bonus here at all, unfortunately. But rise on now, 3,463 troops. That is good. There was a good comment on the previous video 
I believe my underrated Total War player, so thank you very much for that comment saying that, you know, in vanilla, you can just recruit from uh, po regions with higher population or population that's less important. Like, we could recruit some Northern Illyrian levies and basically uh, just disband them in Ryzon. Now, I believe because I've got the remastered settings on, that that would only net 40 men rather than 120. Either 40 or 60, potentially, because it's all evened out now. Uh, basically so that if you're on ultra unit uh, settings, you don't just destroy your settlements by recruiting. Um, which I think is a really good addition, honestly, to, uh, to the old game. But at the same time, yeah, it's, uh, it's probably not worth it. Just because it's so expensive to recruit even our cheapest units. Like these guys, 1,500, you know, to get 400 population... Gonna have to spend fifteen thousand gold. I, I don't think it's worth it, <laughs> unfortunately. And that's still gonna take a long time to recruit anyway. Uh, but anyway, let's move on from Durnion, which was in fact just a large town. So again, that is fine. Let's pop in one of these Labeatean boyos. You're gonna go in there, and the other one can actually jump up this way. We are going to go straight for Galabriopolis. Galabriopolis. Uh, and go straight for that. That one probably can be an auto-resolve. You guys actually do have the movement to join that army. Fantastic. Now, I don't think there's anything else we want to do. Maybe moving the spies around. Uh, but I can do that myself. So I am going to have a look through the spies. And I believe we don't have a diplomat anymore. But... I might re-recruit another diplomat or something uh, just to see uh, whether we can get any good agreements with Macedon maybe or something like that. But I, I doubt we will do, but we will find out. And we have Glavos as a candidate for adoption. He's a 0, zero, zero but he's not too bad. He's, got, he's not got any like terrible traits, so let's take him. Like I say, we do want as many generals as possible right now. So, I wonder where to send him, though. I'm thinking of sending him to Singwadunom because it is a city, right? We do have a general in Batavium already, I believe. Yes. Although, it would be good to have three generals across here. You can see the history have attacked us over here, too. I don't think that's a very good idea by them, honestly, when we have this many troops <laughs> nearby. Um, so let's do that. They're going to, yeah, that, I mean, it's a little bit annoying, but it's, it's okay. Oh, they kind of block the way now as well. Oh, well. So yeah, the history have, did besiege us down there, but also the Dardanians did a three-pronged attack on three settlements. So what I think we need to do is take these settlements here. So we're not, lo no longer bordering them up this way anymore. I'm also going to continue uh, re, uh, retraining Labeateans in here. Also, we can take these guys as well. We're going to have two of them. So we are going to have plenty of garrison troops. we got the Boyai uh, in here now. Now, I do believe we do... Do we border the Boyai? We do actually border them. Nice. Okay. Well, they might attack us at some point, but uh, hopefully... Not any point soon. First of all, let's get our uh, army together. Now, Algalsos, you are one of the generals, most definitely. So let's bring you down here. We're going to assemble our army around this region. Was it these two in Dawson? I'm assuming so. Uh, Prodromoi there. Or are they new troops? I'm not sure. And then the other general was Bardilis, our glorious general. Glavos has come into there. Hmm. So, yeah, it must have been... Do we have cavalry? We've got a couple of cavalry. Not the Prodromoi, though. So, is that... Where else would our army be, then? Let me have a look. So, Eption Salona. Yes, we got them. We got the guys from Ryzon. Epidauros. Yeah. Okay. It must be that, then. I, I could have sworn we had more units in this army. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, it's not too bad. It's still a pretty decent army, nonetheless. 
Do we not have more? Or did we give them to the other army? I can't exactly remember. That's that's my issue right now. But this is still a relatively decent army. Where do we want to send it, though? That is the question. I'm not really bothered about sending it across towards the history. That really doesn't bother me too much. So, hmm. Let's get you in there. They are plenty happy with that. Let's do this. Let's just auto-resolve that. 228 seems like a lot, but it's fine. It's still a lot of troops that they can't use going forward. I think we probably... The problem here is I don't really want to leave behind some of these silver experienced units. That's the that's the main issue. 64% is not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. Especially seen as two of the buildings here are Illyrian themselves. So I think we go for the Temple of Dionysus. And we continue towards Ambilicium. And we'll, we can probably send guys through that way, can we? Hmm... Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's getting a little bit trickier. But let's continue to recruit some of these boys. Can we recruit anything else? No. So we are recruiting a lot of garrison troops. I think maybe worth sending you up this way then. If we bring a ship across. Okay, we got blocked by the history. That was dumb of us. Why did we do that? Well, anyway, we're still not there. So let's just march up this way next turn. And we should be absolutely fine. Uh, and then for the rest of us, let's make sure we just auto-resolve this. Shouldn't be too much. 102, not a problem. And again, Galabriopolis is a large town that was upgrading. So there is plenty of population going around. I'm just surprised that hasn't grown anywhere else. But it is, uh, you know, splitting that between 50 settlements now. Which, yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it, really? <laughs> let's be honest. Um, yeah, and they have them as a garrison. We still do have time to stop them besieging these settlements. I mean, if we take this one, that should be at least this stopping stopping the siege there. It won't be this one, but this, this guy's going to take forever to siege because it's six turns and he can't mana ram. So he cannot actually siege that down. So kind of a dumb move by them to do that. Uh, when we can just come and take more of their land. <laughs> well done, guys. And the Pionians, remember, guys, are our protectorates. So that, of course, is a fantastic, uh, fantastic thing for us. So there we go. Plenty built then. Nerona has upgraded. Good. That is definitely something that we want to see. But is Nerona worth recruiting from? Um, yeah, potentially. More Thurio Foroi. Definitely. And then I want to make sure that I am constantly building in this region. No matter what's happening, every one of these settlements, maybe not these ones, potentially not really that worth it, but uh, the other ones could be worth building all of the time. I mean, a road through here wouldn't go amiss, though, would it? Let's be honest. So, yeah, just because it takes so long, especially, yeah, walls as well. Walls are definitely useful, <laughs> I've got to say. Although, is this history land up here? No, that is rebel. So, I don't believe we need to go any further north than this. Oh, no. This is history land. And it has a silver mine. Don't know where that settlement is, though. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, it is. Ambilicia. Cool. Ambilicia. That's what it sounds like. Someone who really likes Ambilif, it would seem. Um, and then... Over here, let's start sending some more of these garrison troops up the way, as usual. Also, we need to get rid of Glavos, and I am going to do what I said, which is send him to Singwidunon. Uh, this is just a large town, isn't it? Skordiskiopolis, cool. And then also, we do have some uh, garrison troops here, and some uh, Bellovation infantry that would be good to meet up with that one. How happy are these guys now? They're incredibly happy. I'm going to wait one more turn, though. When that is done, they should be even happier. So, for now, that is good. I have also moved all the spies, by the way, guys, in case you are seeing slightly differently to you were previously. Now, let's uh, get into Isarsium Brixentium, which is one of these, which is actually a large town, although 
It's losing population and got 600 uh, people, which is actually terrible, let's be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, let's build the sewers there. If it is a large town, there's going to be plenty of opportunity to keep upgrading it. Epidamnos, I know I destroyed that settlement, so I'm not going to waste much money on it for now. Uh, Peristupolis, not really worth building the roads there. Meteon, are you worth it for the Royal Road? Not really. I would like somewhere good for the Royal Road. Like Splonum, probably quite a good one right in the middle there. Hmm. Laburnie looking a bit spicy, not going to lie. Well, if they do attack, we do have this army ready to uh, respond straight away. So, yeah. They look a bit confused at the moment with what to do. They are at war with the history. But I think they're getting a bit confused by the fact that, you know, they're kind of getting squished in by me. So, maybe not the cleverest idea to squish them in. But, yeah, taking this land was a great idea, I've got to say, in the end. In the end. When, uh, when all is said and done, it will have been worth it to take this land. Maybe we should we should have gone for Optogenarium first. Optogenarium. Opt yep. Settlement name. Very good. Well, that's not great, let's be honest. <laughs> well, let's uh, withdraw. Hopefully, he withdraws into it. Oh, my God. I'm going to auto-resolve this because there's a chance he survives. Okay. He had 10 soldiers remaining. Did he survive? He did survive. That has stopped them sieging it down, though. Oh, hello, history. That's a... How are you bordering that settlement? Oh, okay, from the south. Hmm, that does make sense, actually. The Illyrians want to give us money oh, for a thanks. ceasefire. Of course, we'll take it. We'll offer them trading for now as well. Proposal. There we go. Fantastic. And another one who is an apprentice trader. That's good. Let's get him in a good trading settlement then. He once again has been uh, taken at Rise on. So we are going to send him up there. I am going to send him this one across to the new lands. You should now be able to go. The Liberty have... Taking a step back from trying to intimidate us, which is, of course, is a very good thing. Let's just pop you there. Civil disorder in a couple of settlements. Litimum, it's on 69% now. Nice. So that should be good. And Altinum, yeah, Altinum's plenty happy now that we've actually upgraded the settlement. So, yes, like I say, we need to, definitely need to build that. And also, I'm assuming a test day finished that time. Yes, it did. So let's uh, go for the recruitment hubs because these areas are going to grow much faster than anything else. Going to have to mix it up between the two, you know. Patavium is going to be the best one. So we can get up to level three quite quickly here uh, once we're at that minor city level. And then we have some really good units, Celtic units, that we can recruit. So yeah, that's going to be very, very useful. And in the meantime, of course, we're going to be upgrading its military infrastructure. I do want to build a port, though, here and try and get it some more, um, uh, you know, population growth building so it grows even quicker in the future. Uh, but that will be fantastic. Galabrio Polis, which is that one over there. This should stop them sieging down there, potentially. Not 100% certain, actually. It might not do. Hmm... Let's uh, auto-resolve that again. Yeah, 24 men, not a problem. And Dardanopolis, that is gone. We can actually go and relieve that siege. Hmm. There is that tiny border there. I think I'd rather kill two birds with one stone and go after Nysos and relieve, uh, relieve it that way. And then we're bordering the score Disky again. Who's here? That's the generic Thracian, so they shouldn't be too bad of a uh, of someone to take on. I'm gonna send you guys up this way. Uh, Labeateans there too. Let's go for one more of you. There we go. Let's have a look at everything else. So the history, yeah, they are sieging that down. We do have to make a decision here on where which way we want to go. So yeah, that's fine though. Uh, and there we go. We got two. We got two cities now. Two cities. Suggestica, which has not had any recruitment stuff built for it as of yet. That might be an issue. 
Huh, but that is another good one that we can uh, we can start building up to. So if we build that, what do we get? It's all Northern Illyrian units, and they are just worse. They are just just totally worse than our Southern Illyrian units. So honestly, probably not worth spending the money on that in Suggestica. Instead, probably worth spending it on, you know, anti-corruption measures. 98 corruption gone from that. That's going to reduce corruption as well and give population growth. It is expensive, but I think it's probably worth it. Uh, and then we did have another, didn't we? That was Grown Aku Min Khan up here in the north. Hmm. So, yeah, I think this one is going to be more of a sort of trading area. Singwa Dunon as well. Both of these are fantastic settlements, let's be honest. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go for the sewer there. I'm also going to get you out of there. And we're going to go into Singwa Dunon because it's making more money. So there we've got a choice now. We've got a choice with a few things. First of all, this army. This army, we definitely want to get them on the ships. That is going to happen. And we're going to get the ships across here. And then we can take on Optigerian. Or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> hmm. And we've got you. So I think... I mean, does this have walls? They do have walls here now. I mean, I think the best thing we can do is, rather than attack this one, Ambelisium, is go and attack this, because I believe that's the one that is bordering this settlement. So this settlement is Isakia Brixentia. Hmm. Huh. Where are you actually bordering... Bordering the enemy, then? That's very strange indeed. Maybe across here somewhere? Hmm. I don't really know. Well, let's go for Ambelisium first. Go for that that one first. And then we'll go for Turner. The other units, they are going to then attack Optigium. Op Opito. Uh, <laughs> Opitergium. Opitergium. There we are. <laughs> Managed to say it in the end, guys. It just took about 100 tries. But, um, yeah, it's fine. Just don't, just don't think about it. <laughs> and we're going to take out Dardania with this army. Um, and then, yeah, Dardania should be dead pretty soon. They, they don't have much left, do they? Let's do some building then. I have rambled on quite a bit. We're going to build from the bottom once again. We are not building in many settlements. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it, it's okay. Uh, I wonder though, in these Dardanian settlements, what the uh, AOR would give us. It is literally just Southern Illyrian Axemen and Dardanian Spearmen, which are, in fact, quite a good unit, really. But if we're only getting them in Dardania, probably not worth it too much. So let's build the sewers. I'm not going to delete the military buildings just yet, just in case we do need to build them up at some point. Uh, we have Venostium over here. This is not the one that's under siege, is it? No, it's not. So we are going to build a road there. Uh, Epidamnos down here. Again, we're going to ignore that for now. Sermion in the north. Another minor city. So all three of these settlements now are minor cities. That's actually fantastic. Let's uh, keep on building that population up. 6.5% growth up here, man. That is insane. That is really good. Uh, Perustai Polis. Again, probably not worth building anything. So let's go further towards the top. I don't believe we've got anything to build in Rise on. No. Uh, Enderon here. Let's just go for some farms because that's going to bring us some money uh, as well. Uh, Glinditonopolis. Let's go for the tavern. And then I don't believe we've got anything that's cheap enough to build anywhere else. Well, that's fine. Another end turn we can get through. And uh, yeah, let's go. Well, another end turn is over, my friends. And... Yeah, the history have come back with this terrible army. This army is actually quite good. It looks quite damaged, but it is quite good. I think we might actually play that siege, not to lose all of these decently experienced units and just use the Axemen. Um, so yeah, definitely got to do that. Let's have a look. We've got the history. 
We've got the history over here. We've got another agent from the history. And we've got So. Big So. Here he is. Let's have a look. He is ignorant, charismatic, and vigorous. Undecided. He's a green commander. Youthful, calm, social drinker. He's a grower, which is good for our uh, output of farms. So, yes, I think you are going to be a good option for one of these settlements. Did we not get... Did he go to Sermion? Where did that general go? Oh, he's in there. Good. Right then. So with so, so with so, 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 you are going to go to one of these. Just, we want we want a general in all of these, really. They're all minor cities now, which is pretty darn good. And I don't think we need these uh, garrisons here anymore. So we can move them towards the, uh, the front lines uh, with Dardania. They might get attacked, but uh, I don't think so, honestly. Don't think so. <laughs> very, very good. Very good. Right. What is that looking like? We might have to do both of these sieges again. I do want to fight that army, but it looks like an absolute trash-munching army. So it's probably just going to be an absolute rout if we do that. Got an Illyrian noble, and we've got a Bematist for Sophion. What is that? Accurate step counts are more useful than most men think. Plus one management, plus one command when defending walls. Cool. I like that very much. Right. Uh, that's not our boats. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to uh, make sure that we don't get killed again out at sea. Could happen. Could happen, my friends. But you never know. You never know. Um, honestly, what is in there? Like four units? How happy are they to leave here now? Okay. Not incredibly upset. Let's go and just siege this down ourselves while we're waiting. We're going to get all of these mercs in there. Not all of them, but uh, a few of them. There we go. In fact, we can take them Take them all pretty much. Good. Very good. We're going to have some cultural unrest here, guys. Definitely. But for now, we're in a good position. These guys are still building, aren't they? Fantastic. Got the roads building there. We've got you. You are probably going to take that settlement this turn unless I do something drastic. Let's have a look at anything interesting that we built. Yeah, Batavium, Feltria. Got the gold mines. Just going to queue up. Ooh. And we're still only making 666. Oh my god, 600 corruption in this place. That's not ideal, is it? Anything that's corruption... Reducing just the walls. Hmm. That is really bad. Let's uh let's just build in the sewers then. I was gonna build those mines, but if we're gonna lose half of it to corruption, that's uh not really ideal, is it my friends? <laughs> not good at all. Not good at all. Right then, let's do a couple of battles. Finally, we've not had battles for a little while since the very start of the episode. So let's do these two siege battles. I'll try and edit them down a little bit so they are less long. But uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Are there any mercenaries available here? No, there's not. But let's go for this one first, guys, and I'll see you then. Well, we're going to try and use a rate of Darmos and pins here as much as we possibly can. They've got three gold stars now, guys. 43 defense, 39 charge, 22 melee attack, and 22 alt attack. Pretty darn strong, let's be honest. Might, in fact, come this way and try and charge these axemen. They are only axemen after all, so they shouldn't be too difficult to deal with for our cavalry so uh let's keep coming forward though ideally we want to get these guys off the town square like usual um and yeah let's get into charging position looks like they're gonna run away come on guys come on guys let's go let's go see if we can uh, engage their general here come on guys let's go <laughs> come on <laughs> hurry up Hurry up, men. They're getting a bit tired now because I did run them around this way first. And I came back to uh, charge these boys. But it looks like we're going to catch them. Don't think we're going to get much of a charge off, though. So probably worth just getting our generals in this position for the time being. And uh, seeing if we can come up this way, too. There we go. Looks like the general's going. Halt. Halt, men. Halt, men. And then we're going to try and get these generals... Let's try and fight these northern axemen. We can get this guy in here too. 
I want to kind of save a lot of my Javis. I don't want to throw them all away. But look at that. The Northern Illyrian general is just dying. Like, <laughs> just getting absolutely broken. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. He's going to die so quickly. Then we've got the Axemen and the Celtic Spearmen to deal with. There we go. There goes his general. Very nice. I was hoping that wasn't my general then. Um, as usual, we probably could lose our general. Like, I, I, I tend to do that quite a bit, don't I, my friends? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Try not to lose them. Right. General's out. Axeman unit, you're going to come around the back. And we're going to fight these northern uh, Illyrian Axemen too. You guys, come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Get moving, my friends. Get moving. Should be a nice, easy, uh, easy win here. Looks like they are firing some javelins into my men. But uh, we are firing back. So that is good. Into the Celtic Spearmen. Very nice indeed. We just need to get those Celtic Spearmen off the uh, town square. Which it looks like they are doing. So if they do that, that's going to be awesome for us. Because then I can charge my general into here. Which is going to be amazing. Oh my god, look at all the Javis that are coming over now. They're going to get absolutely shredded by that. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. Right, we're going straight in there, my friends. Straight in. Going to bring you guys into the fold too to try and hold them off the town square. Especially if someone breaks. Let's go, guys. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry your horses, my friends. That is the worst charge. This rock does not need charging. This rock is not your enemy, my friends. Not your enemy. Go. Go! I've got it on slow-mo. <laughs> I was wondering why they were so slow then. But that was also incredibly slow. What a charge. What a charge, guys. What a charge. That is not the most glorious charge I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. And then they also got a Javi throw off. Well, that was terrible. Just terrible news on all sides there. Just, just, get, just get there, guys. Just get there. Just get away. <laughs> Come on, guys. Fire your goddamn javelins. Stop letting them get their javelins off. Guys, will you hurry the hell up? Fire? Right, let's charge again. Should be okay. Fire! <laughs> Come on, guys. There we go. Somehow they broke anyway. We didn't even need to fire. But 149 men. More men than we needed to lose, really. But uh, not too bad in the end. Most of them did well. And we still have an army to fight another day. Glorious, my friends. Ambilicium is now ours. Let's, uh, I think, just occupy it, honestly. It's it's quite a small settlement anyway. Now, do we have anything to leave here? That is the question. I mean, we left eight Thurioforoi in the last one. I'm thinking the Prodromoi is probably the only thing that's really worth leaving here. Does this even have a wall? Doesn't look like it, so we might be able to take that straight away. Surely at this point... They will not be able to uh, take that settlement because it's not bordering. But I don't know. I really don't know. Let's get this Prodromoy out of here then. And uh, instantly, they're fine with only 14 men guarding them. And it actually has a few upgrades because, of course, the history have had it now for some time. It's not making any population growth. So we probably will need to enslave Turnia just to uh, create that population growth. Got Celtic Swordsman, 186, man. God damn it, bro. That's a bit obscene. <laughs> this army 100% needs to go back for retraining very, very soon. So that is Laburnie territory there. History in here, which is that settlement, and history there, which is just a general. Huh. So... What do we do? Well, I think we wait at least a turn. Hmm. We're, we're very much running out of history settlements to attack, aren't we? But I would like a garrison in here somewhere. Oh, what are we What are we going to do about this? Hmm. Again, there's not really anything that I want to leave behind here because of the, the experience. If we had mercenaries, that would be good. Okay, yes, we do. Right. 2,400. It's an expensive investment for that settlement. 
but it's not too bad. And this one is a mine, which is going to be fantastic. It's going to have a ton of corruption, but if we can get it to grow, we're going to be absolutely peachy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys to the front of this and get the more, the bigger units in there too, so that when we auto resolve this next one against this settlement, that only these ones should take the damage rather than the ones at the back. Hopefully it will work that way. Can't exactly guarantee, but it should be okay. Uh, and there's nothing to build there. You are already building. You're already building. You have stuff set up. You all have stuff set up. Right then, let's go for this next battle, which will be at Nysos, which is the capital of... Dardania, and I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fight this one just to try and mitigate the losses. We're going to try and use the Epibarti to the best of our abilities because, of course, they are some of our best units at the moment. They are fantastic. And this is Agron. He has a lot of management, not much command, but we are trying to force him to become a good commander. So uh, let's see, guys. Let's see. Well, here we go, guys. Our main weapon is going to be our slingers, of course, because they have served us so well so far. So we are going to use them to the best of our abilities here and try and use them to whittle down the enemy as much as possible. Uh, now, I just wanted to bring your attention. Look how cool this settlement is, the Illyrian. I think this is the Illyrian city. It's got Greek-style buildings or sort of simplified Greek style buildings with more Celtic slash barbarian style buildings as well, which I just think is such a cool like mixture on the cultures there. A nice visual representation of the two different cultures uh, there. I don't know what these guys are doing. Whatever it is, it's not good. So there we go. I don't think they're going to hit anyone there, are they? Um. Well, let's, uh, let's keep coming. Okay, no, these guys are moving. Okay, fine. We're going to keep moving then as well. And we're going to keep bringing our slingers. Our slingers should be able to hit them now. Good, they have hit them. Fantastic. Well, we're going to keep doing that, guys, and see where it gets us to. Well, here we are, nicely set up once again. So we are going to uh, stick these guys on guard mode and fire into the center here rather than anyone that's charging us. So hopefully... These guys can fire over the heads of these boys. And let's see how much damage they can do. Come on, boys. Volley. There we go. Very nice. Not doing a huge amount to the Dardanians, but it's going to be reducing their hit points all the time. So keep firing at those though, Dardanian uh, spearmen. They do have very big shields and a big shield stat, these Dardanians. So it's going to be quite hard to break through that. But hopefully, we can do that anyway. Let's see. They're still firing. So, yeah. They are whittling them down slowly whilst our guys fight against uh, the Dardanian Spearman and the General over here. So, yeah. It should be uh, doing plenty of damage nonetheless. Well, here we go, guys. I think we need to uh, move our men in now. Get rid of these Dardanian Spearmen. And these guys can engage the Southern Illyrian Spearmen. It shouldn't be a problem. So let's go, and we, we should hopefully surround these boys and break them and stop them from getting back onto the town square. Here we go. Let's kill these Dardanian spearmen again. Nice. Keep going, my friends. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Come on, push them off the square, guys. There we go. Now let's fire our javis into the Southern Illyrian spearmen. This should break them. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely brutal. Fantastic. Glorious victory, nearly a 10 to 1 in a siege battle. And once again, I'm assuming the Epibartai just solid, solid once again. Very nice. 304, 55 men. Very nice. Fantastic victory, my friends. And I think Nasos is a city. I think we're just going to occupy Nasos, to be honest. Um. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's occupy it. I think that's going to be fine. And then we'll probably move straight on to Idarba. Can you get to Nysos? You cannot. Well, can you get to Nysos? No. <laughs> How can none of you get to Nysos? Come on, man. What about you guys? No, you are done. So, 
Yeah, you're just going to move there. You're probably going to get attacked, but that's okay. We're going to leave behind just one of these Southern Illyrian cavalry for now. And they're still plenty happy over here. We're going to go for Idarba. Yeah, the Dardanians are just falling like flies. They've only got these two settlements left after this, which is, um, yeah, pretty embarrassing for them. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's see. Pretty embarrassing. I don't think they've got anything else around here. No, it is going to put us maybe into contact with the Dental Arte and all that Shazam. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's, uh, it's too bad. Let's, uh, let's do some building butthole first. Hmm. Yeah, nothing really to build there. That's the problem. A lot of these places, it's not really anything to actually build. Let's go for the tavern there. Narensa Polis. Narensa Polis does have a lot of roads, but not roads going through it. So that's fine. Hedum, on the other hand, does have a road going through it. But where from? Around this way. I suppose it's probably worth building uh, the extra roads there. But for now, let's just go for the sewers. And then Pharos on the island. Yeah, we don't need to do anything about that. Korkira, Melania. Issa, again, nothing really worth building in any of these places. Ulkidion, 6.5% growth. I'm assuming that is mainly due to the slavery. Let's have a look. 5% slavery bonus from nearby uh, conquests. Well, okay. That's that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Some good population growth in Olkinion. Very nice. Right. Let's then... Where are you, Olkinion? Gosh, all the way up here, are you? Wow. Uh, Iasium, anything worth building? Yes, definitely. Let's build in there. Delmium, I think I am going to build these roads uh, because, of course... Delmium, that's going to build a lot of money because Delmium is so rich. 8,700. Very nice. Eption, Salona, probably not worth building anything there. Same there. Promona, let's just build the tavern. Uh, Rider, nothing really. And then another tavern for Daoson. And that is us, I believe. I don't think there's anything else we can do this turn as well. Hmm... Let's have a look. Can we do that? No, we can't do that. Okay. Well, I don't think that's an issue at all. They do have some of their axe cavalry here, but they are so weak that they will just die pretty much instantly. They've just got a general in there. And then I think once we've taken these two, we should probably go home for retraining because at that point, this army can have a go from this side. Mm, yeah, I think that's the plan. So, uh, yeah, we'll take these two settlements. We'll come through here and take these with this army, which is a pretty nice army, honestly. It would be nice to have some more Isaiah and Epibartai in there, but that's okay. Uh, we'll come through these, and then we'll attack the Laburni and the History down here. Maybe even just go after the History down here, finish them off. And once this army's retrained, they can hit the Laburni from this side. And hopefully we can absolutely tear through these settlements. I think we can do. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, quite fun. Now, I know uh, some of these episodes, you know, there's not been any massive battles or anything. Nothing majorly huge going on. But I think a lot of this, like, these last few episodes are predominantly just build up episodes like uh we're building up our nation uh slowly taking out enemies and getting ready to fight some big ones so don't be uh don't be uh, put off by the lack of big battles recently because we are going to be having some big fights in the future guys i do intend to keep this going until the the patch comes around the next patch so yeah rome is definitely an option uh, Macedon is definitely an option to attack. So, yeah, don't uh, worry about that because in the future, we will have some very, very big battles. It's just a shame that our recruitment capability is so, so hamstrung at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. Fourth tier barracks. We have to get to large city to even get our epilectoi. Um, at least we can get our noble spearmen. Uh, in the next one and then yeah we can get noble cavalry actually that's very good because these guys are a really decent cavalry unit so yeah okay we will get some decent units soon 
But again, do I really want to drain in Ryzen when and reduce its population? I think the main the main thing is getting our uh, growth up here with our recruitment hubs and trying to build up armies in this region to fight Rome, potentially to fight uh, Macedon. But to do that, we're gonna have to build a bit of a bigger a bit of a bigger navy, which should be another thing. But Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all again on the next video.